Okay, I think I'm recording now. Um, welcome to my computer. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble getting these tutorials in under 10 minutes. Um, and I think that, like, um, to post on YouTube and to upload to, to WordPress and stuff, they have to be shorter. Um, and it, I think that's good, too, for attention spans and, and things. So, um, I'm going to leave out the part about drawing these lines. Um, I'm hoping that at this point in time that you guys are all comfortable um, with drawing lines in Illustrator. Um, I've just used this image. Um, it's in my folder. It's called Puzzle. Um, and I imported it into my file. And then I just, um, I actually ended up just drawing um, one line and then just duplicating it and copying and pasting and reflecting these inner segments. Um, I think that if you were in class, you could, you did really well um, understanding that. Um, so, and then I just used Apple J to join my endpoints. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> it's not me making those noises, but yeah, um, it's probably better than music in the background, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, so I've got all these points, and um, I'm just going to select, I mean, I've got all these lines, and I'm just going to select these. Please notice that for this process, um, I, this is, what do I have here, nine or ten lines total? Um, and none of them have a fill color, because we're going to be using outline stroke. Um, they're all just black, simple lines. If I zoom in, you can see, um, again, they're just paths. So, um, I'm going to give them, there's a couple miscellaneous points here, I think. So I'll just delete that. And then there's one right there also. Um, okay, so I'm just going to take my lines and select them. This is really simple. Um, so all you have to do is draw some lines. Um, for instance, this is um, a puzzle. And I'm just going to make the stroke weight, uh, it's a point and a half, so I can make it two, um, I can make it two, I guess, I'll leave it at two. And then you'll see that what I'm going to do, um, is I'm just going to use object, path, outline, stroke to turn my strokes into shapes. So check it out, I'll, I'll use outline, stroke, and you'll see that this will turn into, um, these will turn into shapes. So they're shapes now. Um, it basically just outlines the attributes of the line and makes everything into a shape. So um, they look very similar. It's just they're no longer stroked. Now they're filled with black um, and they have no outside stroke. So um, I'm just going to select all of my, my shapes that I've made by using outline stroke and then I'm going to use my pathfinder to make a compound path out of them. So my pathfinder is right here, right in front of me. Um, if you can't find it, you can go to Window, um, Pathfinder, and you'll find it. And I'm just going to use this button here in CS3. It's called Add to Shape Area. In CS4, it's called Unite. Um, and I'll just click it once. In CS4, you don't have to click Expand. Um, in CS3, you do have to click Expand. So um, let me just do that again so you can see what that looks like. Um, in CS3, you'd want to click Expand um, to make sure that that everything is complete. So now you can see that my shapes are union together. There's no intersecting lines at all. It's just um, they're just shapes, and these um, inside shapes are um, cutting out an outside shape um, and making a compound path. Okay. So to get our individual puzzle pieces, all we have to do is release the compound path that we've made. So I'm going to go to Object, Compound Path, Release, and then I'll go to Object and just check to make sure that it's ungrouped. And this is ungrouped. So all I'll need to do now um, is just delete this outside shape. And you can see that I have my individual puzzle pieces. Um, you know, you can move them around or whatever. Um, and then, you know, you can apply this technique to, to just about anything um, to create a nice one color illustration with interlocking shapes. Um, so you can definitely get a lot of really interesting looks with this. So good luck with this, and hopefully you guys will get good results, and I will see you in class on Wednesday. Thanks.